Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video here. So today I am finally back after about two and a half weeks, probably getting on about three weeks now that I haven't uploaded. Uh, two weeks I wasn't a holiday, but when I got back from holiday I wasn't really like in the mood, if that makes sense, like to actually upload videos and do videos. So I thought instead of just like getting a video out for the sake of it and it maybe not being as good quality, I decided to wait till I wanted to get back and start doing videos, which is now. And I finally got another video for you guys, which is potential transfers. Now, do I have a few on here? Uh, one or two that are maybe a little bit late on you've probably heard of already but that's probably mainly due to the fact that I've been away for two weeks so I'm just kind of just doing this video on the transfers that uh, I've just seen on Sky Sports and I've just seen now that I haven't actually heard of before so we're gonna get into the first one though which is one that if you've got any football knowledge at all you'll probably have already heard of which is the Pogba from Juventus to Manchester United now it is very close to happening. Um, there was an £85 million offer from United um, to Juventus, which was rejected. Like, I don't know why Juventus rejected it. Obviously, want to keep hold of Pogba. £85 million is a ridiculous amount of money. And United are apparently willing to spend £100 million on Pogba. So they are apparently going to put another bid in of £100 million, which could even raise um, rise up to £120 million when you put in an account like agent fees and all that, which is just absolutely crazy. I mean, Pogba's a decent player, and at the end of the day, you know, as long as, long as a decent good player signs for the club, I'm not really bothered too much about how much money he costs, but nonetheless, it is a ridiculous amount of money. But it will be a really, really good signing for United, so that is obviously a really, really good thing. Now, getting on to the next player, we have got Robin Van Persie from Fenerbahce to Barcelona. Now, you're probably looking at this transfer, kind of scratching your head, thinking... Why the hell would Barcelona sign Van Persie? And Barcelona are probably wondering that themselves because what all I've actually seen on this transfer on Sky Sports and where I've seen it, like Bleacher Report, I've seen it on Sky Sports as well, though, and that Van Persie has, has just kind of said to Barcelona that he wants to join Barcelona. He's openly said that in interviews and that, that he wants to join Barcelona um, as their like, um, fourth attacking player. Barcelona haven't actually openly commented on this. Um, so I don't, I'm not really 100% sure what their actual stance on this is. Um, obviously, it did pretty decent for Fenerbahce. I, I thought, because early on in his um, Fenerbahce career, he was actually doing quite bad. But in the end, he managed to score 22 goals. So uh, it is maybe a possibility. I mean, it, it was probably more likely to happen about like three years ago, four years ago, when he was kind of at his best, scoring goals for fun in the BPL, you know, the top the top leagues. I'm not 100% sure whether Barcelona would look at Van Persie seriously as a uh, attacking option. But I mean, you never know. There's been some crazy transfers in the past, you know, Jonathan Woodgate to Real Madrid springs to mind. So you really do not know whether this transfer will actually go through. But definitely, if it does, it will probably be a better transfer for Van Persie than Barcelona. Now, getting on to the next player, we have got Alvaro Morata from Real Madrid to Chelsea. Um, and I, f I can't remember how, I think it was like £67 million was reported that uh, Chelsea are willing to spend on Morata. Um, which is pretty crazy to be honest. I think he got like 20 something goals last season for Juventus. I, I think it was like 20 something goals in all competitions. Um, in terms of in the league, he didn't actually do that good. I mean, definitely not good enough in my opinion to be worth 67 million. I'd probably pay mid 30s at the most really for Murata. Maybe just like very low 40s, like 41, 42. But even that would be like kind of at the, at the most. I'd only spend that much if I was forced to on Murata because he's a decent striker, but I really don't think he's worth that much money. Um, also as well, I'm surprised Chelsea are actually managing to get players like Morata to uh, actually want to come to Chelsea because they don't have any European football. Despite with uh, United, they've actually got like Europa League, but Chelsea have nothing. But, you know, fair play if they actually do get Morata because he is a decent player, but 67 million is really, really way too much for Morata in my opinion. So getting to the last player in this video, we have got Maximilian Mayer from Schalke to Liverpool. Not sure how, exactly how much they are willing to spend on Mayer, but he is definitely a really, really good young player. Um, has shown that for Schalke in the Bundesliga, pack it, um, picking up assists and goals galore. A really, really talented young player. And um, they've got quite a few young players that Liverpool have picked up. You know, you've got that guy from Augsburg. I think he's quite young. Uh, watch him be like 30 or something. I haven't actually even checked that. But, I mean, Coutinho came in from Inter when he was quite young. He's been um, really, really good last two seasons. Been really, really fantastic for Liverpool. You've got players like Firmino coming in. They're bringing quite a few young players in. And uh, I guess it can work, you know, if these players turn out to be world class like Maya has got the um, potential to Coutinho's on the brink of being world class and Firmino as well they're starting to bring a few good young players in Liverpool uh, a lot of them are cams they could maybe do a few like like a clinical striker 
really is where they kind of um, need to improve maybe but definitely Maximilian May is a really really good player and I can see him being a successful Liverpool in the next few seasons so hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did then be sure to like button down below and I'll also put in the comments down below as well what you think of the Van Persie to Barcelona deal do you think it will actually go through do you reckon it's an oil win it will be an awful signing for Barcelona put your comments in the description in the um, comments down below what you think of any of the transfers at all in this video and that'll be pretty awesome I'll be sure to uh, reply to them so hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys next time see you later